the application saves the transaction, um, it, it immediately, even though it's still in a pending status, which I'll show you over here, um, it's not yet submitted for approval, it immediately understands um, what kind of approval it, it predicts what kind of approval it will require based on, again, the totals, based on the subsidiary, based on the board approved flag. Um, all that information goes into, into saying, hey, this is a board approved budget to spend. And if I look over here, let me just flip back for a second. I don't want to make anyone dizzy, but here is between 10,001 and 50,099. Um, it's going to have this. Um, requirement of one authorized signer and uh, someone from the executive management team. So Bob, PO owner, and now I want to submit it for approval, which is the next logical step to say, hey, I want this um, purchase order approved. So I hit submit for approval, so the status will change to submitted. We barely saw it update. Um, and aside from obviously that one record, that one field updating, if you come over to the approvals tab down here, um, and you and you click on it, you will now see sorry a um, a number of of lines below, which represent again the rules that we set up on the other screen that I showed you first. Um, obviously, you set up before you use the application. It says, hey, we need a we need a signature from one authorized signer, and we need a signature from um, one executive one member of the executive management team okay and again these are roles and the roles are flexible the roles are applied uh, to many in users obviously one or many users so if we have an authorized signer all of your authorized signers will be notified and um, and will be um, requested to to come into the application and sign off you know sign on their approval so a line was created uh, actually, two lines were created because uh, there was a signer and 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 um, and a member of management team. But um, this is just and this is a, a really a placeholder. This um, transaction requires approval, and it gives you the transaction number. It links only to the general um, application because from there there might be a number of approvals that you that you would go into uh, to approve. So so Bob PO owner is not going to see. He comes back here, like I said before, he's not going to see anything pending approval or something that's owned by me pending approval. He's not going to see anything in this list because he's Bob PO owner. Now, if I flip to a new screen and sign in fresh, so I created a lot of users for this. Um, okay, so now John just signed in. Luckily, I guessed his password. And now, if I come into the application, I come in the same exact way. You see this? And here I am. Now, obviously, I'm John, authorized signer. I'm not putting in any requests. I haven't yet. Uh, if I did, they would show up here. But approvals here, now you see, hey, there are a number of approvals. 151 is the one we're looking for, but there are a number of approvals that are pending for um, my role or any one of my roles. I happen to be in this one role, um, and there's only that, app, that transaction that's awaiting my approval. So if I come in here, I click on the purchase order number, uh, the link on the left side. I'm greeted with a very, you know, the same screen that that the um, user had when on the input end. Um, subtle differences are the, on the bottom here. I'll just go off from the bottom up. Um, the approvals shows up first, so that I see exactly where I sit in the approval um, matrix. Um, sequence 10. You know, I can see that I'm the, this authorized signer. That's my role that I'm signing as right now, um, and I'm approving this application. There is a everything else is not editable um, because I'm not editing this uh, transaction. I shouldn't be editing the transaction. I'm just approving or rejecting the transaction. If I try to reject the transaction, I am told that I need a note before proceeding. Um, so I need to actually type a note in here. Uh, you cannot reject without that note. Okay. If I'm approving, I don't. It doesn't require a note. You don't have to say every time I'm approving. So now I approved. Now the you'll notice. First thing, hey, I approved this order. It wasn't. It was submitted before it's submitted now. What happened to the the status? Well, if you were paying that close attention, you would have noticed that the line sequence did update on the transaction, which means it's still in the submitted state. It's pending approval, um, and that is because the management team still has to take a look at it and, and approve it. So we caught the exact time um, and and 
and who signed off, and if there were any notes, they would have put that as well. Um, but the management team still needs to approve this. So the status doesn't actually change yet until everyone has signed off, either rejected or approved this application. So uh, this transaction, I'm sorry. This application. So Jack Executive is a member of the management team. Executive. So now I'm signed in because of a new window. I'm coming in as a vendor user. It's a totally new um, role here, and we have lunch. So I'm going to go into my application. I'm logged in again. I can have multiple roles, like we discussed in the beginning, but one of the roles that I hold, I think Jack only holds one role, um, is the is the um, this role, BTX Executive Management role, team role. You, you noticed in the beginning, at the very beginning, we were discussing uh, backup users. Someone's gone for the week or two or whatever it is, a vacation or uh, how, however you know mm -hmm. the role play, plays out. I want to assign Jack Executive as my backup user. I'm away. So I'm busy doing a demo. So now BCX Authorized Signer is, is it, that role is opened up to Jack. But Jack is Authorized Signer, so now Jack has access to these two other transactions that we won't go into because um, we're dealing with the third one, but he can theoretically sign on those because he is an Authorized Signer backup user. So, and again, he would have been CC'd on that notification that we saw in the beginning. He would have been copied on that. His email address goes to me as well, so you wouldn't notice the difference. But every user would have their own notifications, including backup users. So now we come in and we see the role, assigning role, approving role, sorry, is the executive management team. I see who signed off on this before me. Um, and I... Um, and I can review again the items and everything you know, based on whatever approval I have to give. I probably have to look at some detail on the on the order. And I say, hey, this is great, and I can uh, approve it. So here I'm brought into, and I see the approval um, has gone through. Now you'll notice the submission status is indeed approved, and this is ready to move on. And we see each person who signed off for each role. Let's go back to Bob. Bob should have received an email with an exclamation mark that your transaction was approved. Um, obviously, again, it can be spruced up a little bit.